Matthew Moan is here and I've been playing with the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus for the past 96 hours. This means I've been playing with augmented reality. Apple has introduced AR to their mobile platform and I have to say it's kind of fun, it's a little bit gimmicky, but I do see the potential. It's just gonna take some time for some useful applications to hit the App Store. With that being said, I do have five great applications that you guys can check out for now, at least until the store gets a little bit more populated. But before we do, here is a message from our sponsor. LastPass is an amazing security manager. I've been using it for a few years and I have zero issues recommending it to people. Let's face it, it's becoming very hard to remember your passwords. There are tons of apps and services that you're signed up to and trying to remember them all can be very confusing. LastPass can generate a random secure password for each service you use, taking out the guesswork of coming up with a new password every single time. But my favorite feature has to be the ability to auto log into your services. So it doesn't matter if you're on the web, using a smartphone or even a tablet. LastPass has an app or extension that will detect the website and autofill the information for you. All your passwords are stored in the password manager, which is completely secure and encrypted. LastPass is available on mobile, tablets, and desktops. To download LastPass, click on the link in the description down below. The first app is called Giphy World, and I use GIFs quite a lot, whether it's on Twitter, talking to friends through social media, or even just through chatting. I mean, it's pretty much baked into your keyboard and they're all over the internet. Now what's happening is they're giving a AR version of it so that you can manipulate your surroundings by adding stickers to it or even creating up these crazy looking scenes. After you're done setting them up, you can then share it with friends. And if your friends have the app installed, they can manipulate it as well. I mean, it only makes sense that there's an augmented reality version of it considering how popular it is. Just expect to start seeing it a lot on your Instagram stories or even your Snapchat feeds. The number two app is by Ikea and it's called Ikea Place. And as a YouTuber, I buy a lot of furniture there because it's affordable and it's very minimalistic. But the problem is when I want a piece of new furniture, I don't know what it's going to look like in my studio unless I buy it, bring it over here and put it together. Now the app allows you to choose between 2000 different products where you can then visualize exactly what it's going to look like using your smartphone. It's pretty cool because it gives you an idea of scale without having to buy it first. The third app is called Night Sky. This app is a lot of fun and it's very educational. I was doing this with my daughter the other night. We're pointing the phone at the sky and what you can do is identify planets, constellations, and even satellites. It's a great way to learn those constellations because I'll be honest with you, I don't know too many of them. I think the only one I actually know is the Big Dipper. So if you want to get to know space a little bit better, go check out this app. It's free and it's also a lot of fun. Fourth up on the list is probably the most useful app in this video and it's called Measure Kit. As the name applies, it allows you to measure things. The free version allows you to use a ruler to measure distances and I've been playing with it and it works very well. But if you do pay $3.99 you can do things like set up trajectories, you can set up marker pins and measure distances between them, you can measure angles, measure someone's height which I thought was pretty cool. You can even use it as a level or create cubes with distances. It's definitely a very useful app and I can see this being very handy in situations where you don't have physical tools with you. And last up on the list is a game and it's called Euclidean Lands. Basically you're this spear wielding warrior who's dropped down on this crazy cool looking world and you can manipulate it with your hands. Now the warrior can move only one space at a time but what makes the game so cool is how you control the world itself just like a Rubik's Cube you can twist and turn and the blocks kind of rotate and each level your goal is to get to an exit point now it starts off very very easy but as each level progresses, it gets significantly harder. So as these levels go on, you fight enemies and you fight these big bosses, but the game was just a lot of fun on the phone itself and it was pretty cool to see it implemented in augmented reality. It ran very smooth and there was none of that jittery effect that you get with some other applications. So that pretty much wraps up this video on AR apps I'm using on the iPhone 8. Let me know if you wanna see another one of these down the road, obviously sometime in the next six months when there's more applications to choose from. If you did, let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. And as always, I will see you in the next video.